Hi everyone, I am Riyana here from SNIT Adur. We are studying the subject Civil Engineering Project Management for 8th semester Civil Engineering as per APJ K2 syllabus. Now we are on the revision part of this subject. We have already discussed the previous year questions from Module 6, Module 5, Module 4 and Module 3. And as a part of revision, today I am going to discuss the previous year questions from Module 2. We know that Module Cost Estimation and Codification Approach in Construction Project Management. The first part of Module 2 refers to Cost Estimation um, Procedure that is the crashing of networks and the different types of schedules in construction project management and the second part is regarding the codification approach and the various types of codes used in construction project management. So now I am going to discuss the previous year question papers. The first question, write short notes on resource codes which is asked for 7 marks. The answer should include the definition for a resource code, the uses of resource code and manpower, materials, equipment and other direct resource codes. So your answer should include the definition, uh, definition for resource code. You have to list out the uses of resource codes and different types of resource codes, manpower, materials, equipment and other direct resource codes. The second question is a numerical problem. The following table shows the cost and duration of each activity. The indirect cost is given as rupees 3150 per week. Determine the optimum duration of project and the minimum cost, which carries 15 marks. The data is shown in the table. There the activity and the predecessor relationship is given. The normal as well as the crash cost is given there. The normal as well as crash duration is also given there. So this is a problem related to of networks. So in this problem, before starting work, you have to draw the network. Here I am briefly describing the answer key for this particular numerical problem. So first of all, you have to draw either a AOA or AON network. Then you have to estimate uh, the different uh, project duration and cost etc. before crashing. So before crashing the total project duration is estimated as 18 weeks and the critical path is identified as ACE and the total project cost which is the sum of direct cost and indirect cost which is estimated as Rs. 91,700. So the crashing is to be done for 5 days to get the minimum cost. Activity C is crashed for the first 3 days and activity E is crashed for the next 2 days. On the 6th day activity A and B may be crashed but minimum cost occurs on the 13th day. So you have to explain the entire process of this crashing. Uh, since it is asked for 15 marks, you have to mention each and every step for this crashing procedure. And after crashing, the minimum cost is obtained as 84,950 and the optimum duration is obtained as 13 weeks. And then you have to uh, express uh, or show a time cost trade off graph, thus, time versus cost. You have to draw and clearly uh, draw the graph and represent the time and cost. Next question is what is the need of codification in a construction project? Explain the cost and finance according codes. So this question has two parts. The first part is what is the need of codification in construction project and second part is explain cost and finance accounting codes which is asked for seven marks. So the answer should include the need for codification. You have to mention any two important points. It is better to mention more points for getting marks. And next, you have to briefly explain cost codes and finance accounting codes. Cost code, what is its importance and what are the features of cost codes. 
and also what is finance accounting course what is its significance and what are the features of finance accounting course you have to mention all this and the fourth question is write short notes on construction schedule and equipment schedule the question is asked for five marks only so construction schedule carries 2.5 marks and equipment schedule carries 2.5 marks we know that there are different types of schedules are employed in construction project management they are the construction schedule equipment schedule labor schedule material schedule etc here your answer should include the following points construction schedule a brief note on construction schedule and a brief note on equipment schedule that is you have to mention what is construction schedule what is its important and you have to mention what is equipment schedule and why it is important in case of project civil engineering project management next question is also a numerical problem crash the given network using the details given in table and find the optimum first and least project duration which is asked for 10 marks the data is given in the table here the activity and predecessor relation, uh, relationship is given the normal and crash duration is given and the normal and crash cost is given so uh, in this problem here I am briefly explaining the answer key first step is to draw the network and then you have to estimate the total cost duration and cost slopes before crashing first of all you have to estimate the cost slope it is very important and depending on the cost slope only uh, we can crash the activities and you then you have to identify the critical paths there are two critical paths for this particular network they are ABDF and ACEF the total project duration is 28 days before crashing since there is no indirect cost is given in this particular question you can assume any amount as indirect cost the total project cost should be estimated before crashing which is equal to the sum of direct cost and indirect cost here the indirect cost is not given so direct cost plus 28 into the assumed indirect cost per day Here the cost slope is obtained like this we know that cost slope is the ratio of the difference between normal uh, and crash time and normal and crash uh, slope uh, sorry cost so cost slope is the ratio of the difference between normal time and crash time and normal cost and crash cost after that after crashing you have to find the optimum cost and project duration you have to um, briefly explain the individual steps of this crashing procedure okay thank you hoping that you have understood the previous year questions from module 2 uh, these questions are only asked from two question papers uh, one supplementary question paper and one regular examination question paper uh, so don't think like uh, these are only some portions it's not very simple you have to work out additional problems you have to do additional problems I'll give you some additional problems in later videos so work out more I refer textbooks and do additional problems uh, first module uh, sorry second module is an elaborate module so there may be more questions which may be asked in our university examination so study more refer textbooks okay thank you stay safe